Good afternoon, everybody. Surprise. A little surprise video. I'm going to do an instructional video on our large screen porch facade. Welcome, everybody. This is Mr. Taterbuggin of Taterbuggin fame. My wife and I, Lindy, have our little business called Taterbuggin. We've got uh, several items in a little store that we sell. We have several crafts. A lot of woodwork, a lot of paintings. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with us, uh, my wife is the artist. I'm, I'm the, uh, I'm the worker. He does woodwork, get... shipping. He does it all. There's Vicky and Bertha. Hey, everybody, come on in. We we'll give everybody a few minutes to uh, jump on board here with us. And if you hang out till the end, I might have a surprise announcement for y'all. Yes. Yeah, so uh, and. Uh, lovely assistant is as always is with me here today she's gonna do comments for me um, but for those of you that have uh, bought the large screen door kit or the large large screen door kit with the facade um, those are all in the mail right now they're all out so uh, those that have ordered the facade kits should be getting those very shortly um, and I want to show you for those of you that are not familiar with that this is our large screen door facade. Hi, Marjorie and Kat and Nancy. Hey, Rose. Glad to have everybody. Uh, as you can see, our large screen door. Um, it well, is. No angry faces. What's with all the angry faces, y'all? Angry oh, faces? No. Am I behind the That's door? That's all there are. Hi, Michelle. Who's doing the angry faces? I don't know. Just a whole bunch of angry faces going up. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, our screen door is 20 inches tall. It's 10 inches across. Look what you did to my lantern. Did I knock it sideways? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Hey, Tina. Thanks, but anyway, Marjorie. Uh, the kit is everything that you see here. Oh, there's with, the heart. And it can be with or without the screen door. So what I'm going to do is try to show you uh, in just a matter of minutes here what it takes to put that kit together. And it's, uh, the way I've done it, it's really very simple. You'll get a very large box like this, and it's going to have, uh, again, if you order the screen door, it's going to be a screen door kit that's, it's going to be blank, and you've got to put the screen together. This bar right here is, uh, it, it is loose in here, so it can be adjusted wherever you need it. You'll have crossbars, uh, and the hardware that goes with it hinges, a little handle that goes in the door. Also, if you've already purchased the large screen door and have it on hand, you can order the facade kit without the screen porch door. So exactly. You, you, can, you can get, as I said earlier, the, the facade with or without the screen door. So thank let's, you, Sue. I'm sorry? I said, thank you, Sue. She was sprinkling, oh. and Kathy Jo said, oh, my gosh, I love it. All right. Let's start with the base. This is the base. It's, a, uh, it's, not, it's very thick. But as you, it is fur, so it's not very heavy at all. Uh, I've got it kind of rough sanded for you. You might want to sand it down a little bit more. Uh, uh, and let me say this, um, before you put all this together, you may want to paint parts of this. Um, Definitely. Uh, paint the pieces before easier. you put them together. It makes it a whole lot easier than trying to not get paint on this part and try to get paint on that part. So the base, has a groove cut in the back of it here. That goes to the back and goes up. And then you're gonna get two walls. The walls are gonna be marked on the back, whether they're right side or left side. Um, and uh, what, you'll, what you'll see is at the bottom, uh, there's a little bit of a space here. That, that part of that wall is gonna go right in that groove it aligns to the far edge. Can you see me right here? Just align it with the very edge of this wood right here. Give it a little bump right there. And something you will notice, this is, where is it? Here. <laughs> this is the door facing. Uh, and you'll know the left side because right here, uh, there are, I have pre-drilled uh, the holes for the hinges that go with the screen door kit. So obviously this would be the right side. So we're going to take it and do the same thing. Align it with the 
with the edge, with the very edge here. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Judy. Give it a little, a little bump down into the groove. It should fit fairly snug. So at this point, you should have your door um, about ready to go. All the hardware attached to the door. It will be pre-drilled for hinges. It will be pre-drilled for the handle. Also. Judy, yes, they are in our shop right now. There, there's there's plenty. They're they're still in the shop, right, babe? Bertha and uh, Judy wanted to know for these kits. Yeah. Oh yes, they're yeah. there. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to set your door here, and you'll have again you'll have the hinges attached to the door. Do that attach the hinges to the door in those holes. Those holes are gonna line up with the holes that are pre-drilled on the facing. So you can attach the hinges from the door to the door facing, top and bottom. Hi, okay. darling. You're gonna see that there's a little bit of a gap here because as with any house, you gotta have a little bit of room for that door to open if you want it to. He doesn't do anything halfway, y'all. <laughs> Okay. And the, now that, yeah, that crossbar is not attached, right? Cause the, I, and I said that a while oh, ago, the crossbar is not attached because it has to be moved around um, did I once miss? you put the, uh, the, the angled crossbars in the door here. Yeah, that's Then right. you move this, then you can just reposition this anywhere you need it to be, right on top of those. They'll be there, Judy. Don't worry. What's yeah. that, the crossbars? Uh, no, the uh, whole kit. In the oh, store. yeah, everything will be in the kit. All the hardware, everything you need. Well, okay? I mean, it's in the store right now. So she said, hold one till you're done here. But... Oh, no, they're there. You just go get them. And, y'all, we will have this. We'll share this video on our page and on YouTube. So when you get your kit, if you don't have it already, you can watch this video anytime you need to. That's right. We, we're going to put this, if you didn't hear my sweet little Lindy, uh, this video will be on YouTube. Look up Tater Buggin, and you can find it there. And uh, the entire video will be there. All right. So at this point, you should have your walls secured and glued to the bottom. Um, the, the best thing to use is just uh, um, just some hot glue. That'll hold these things. You can put a little bit of glue in the in the groove, bump the door down. I mean, the wall down in place. Go here, and remember that all you've got to do is line up this wall with this very with the very edge of the base, and it's going to come out right for you. So you don't have to use wood glue. You can use wood glue. It just the hot glue is going to uh, it's going to dry quicker and it'll be easier for you to handle. You can use wood glue, but you're going to have to put wood glue in there and wait for it to dry. Um, before you start handling because it's just gonna pop loose. Yeah, like Judy said, you can use wood glue with the hot glue too. And you could do that. Mm -hmm. You could use, uh, uh, along with your hot glue, you could use some wood glue or some E6000, either one. Okay. Uh, uh, whatever you wanna use there. Um, all right, so at this point, you're gonna want to build the roof. So the roof is gonna mm -hmm. come with a, a long mm -hmm. square can you see that? <laughs> and it's going to be the exact length of these walls. That becomes actually the soffit. And then the roof is a narrower, narrow, narrower piece. Uh, the, and I'm going to hold it up like this so you can see right there that one corner of this is rounded on each end. Okay? The rounded corner is going to go to the outside, and you, you know, using your crafting knowledge, use the best uh, of the best side. The best side of that wood. Now this little piece is a little bit longer than the roof, so just kind of center it. Again, hot glue, wood glue, whatever you want to use to put that together. You can use brads if you want to. Uh, whatever you are comfortable with. Uh, there's a text there. Could you oh, flip I'm that up sorry. for me? It's gone. Okay. All right. Sorry. All right. Hey, Janice. So, uh, at this point, this could should be pretty secure. 
you got your soffit on, you got your roof on, it's ready to go. Now, there's gonna be. Okay, yes, I will. What they want need? me to angle the camera up a little bit more so you're not cut off. Oh, Is now that you better? got it crooked. Oh, sorry. Bottom a little bit more right there. There you go. Okay. Now turn it this way just a little bit. Oh, right. oh, there we go. Hey, I'm back on camera. Hey, everybody. <laughs> All you heard was my voice and my chin, right? I think you had my <laughs> beard right there. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so there, a there's going to be a very... What, is it still crooked? I think, I think we got it. I think y'all uh, will let it catch up. Hi, Liz. All right. The oh, next step your sweet. is a very important part. A this is going to be a very <laughs> essential package right here. It's a Kroger sack. <laughs> but hey, in Deborah. that... In this Kroger sack, you're going to find all of the pieces of siding that are going to make up the, the front of this facade. Uh, there sh should be 38 pieces here, which will be, should be one or two more than you'll need. But once this is all together, and you'll have to bear with me here because hey, Teresa. I'm, I don't have this glued together, but you're going to begin at the bottom. And at the bottom, there's going to be one of these little things that has a little notch cut out of it so that it fits. I'm sorry, no, the, on this, I'm thinking of the small facade. This one goes straight. So start with the first one. Am I in the camera there? Okay, I think I am. What you want to do, uh, again, hot glue is the easiest thing to use here. Glue that at the bottom flat. It's going to be flat. Now the next one... The next shingle, I'm sorry, siding piece that you want to put on, you want to start and just lay it at an angle. About how much do you overlap? And you, I was about to say. I'm sorry, I'm a hush. <laughs> only, you only want to overlap these about an eighth of an inch. So it's just a, actually about the thickness of this wood. Just overlap that and let the bottom lay against the wood and glue it in place there. Hi, Janet. All right, I'm going to try to see how carefully I can do this. So what you'll end up doing is just stacking a bunch of these. And I know I'm out of the picture, but I'm trying to get around here. And you'll end up stacking these all the way up. When you get to the top, um, you just adjust that final one to where it lays up against the soffit right there. So what you're going to end up with, let me get these out of the way. Once you get all those pieces of siding, oh, that just came apart. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, just to show you, you'll see that these pieces of siding are just stacked. And if I can turn that sideways, you can see right here where they overlap at a little bit of an angle. And you just stack each one of those up right up the side. That's right, Judy, through the magic of television. Th through the magic of television, yeah. Um, now, don't worry if the little pieces of, of siding that are, come in your kit, if they come out beyond the wall. Because you want to really do want to cover up that wall. That wall is just there as structure. So when you put these on here, if it if it's they're all the same size so they're going to end up with a straight line up this side so if it comes out beyond this wall it's okay it doesn't hurt a thing penny so, williams says he's using big words soffit oh my soffit <laughs> so uh at this point you should have everything on your um uh, little facade here painted ready okay. to, and all glued together and then you can go and, as my beautiful, wonderful wife has done, find some... Actually, Moidle did this one. I did the small one. We yeah. did it live. Oh, if y'all yeah. want to watch us do the decorating, we did it live. They put these little lanterns on there. Yeah, I changed those out after the fact. And you got to go this way. Yeah, get, there, there we go. go. Uh, but they have a little wreath. They made a little wreath to go on here. Uh, they've added a little pot of flowers here. Uh, the other thing is, Amanda. This is Amanda Maid's idea. Yes. Amanda Maid did these for us. Uh, uh, they she took our door and came up with the idea to do the facade. So 
not only can you see or, or watch uh, a video that we have showing uh, Lindy and Moidle just how we decorated uh, it, yeah. putting this one together, but you can go to Amanda Maid's site, um, and she's done a small and a large screen door facade. She sure has, and I just thought it was the most excellent idea. Can you imagine this at Christmas with Christmas lights across the top and all? So you can do that. Go get me that small one, please. Okay. Um, Ruth wants to know where's the best place to put it. I've got it on a little cabinet in our eat, eating area. It fits perfectly on top of that cabinet. This can go on your buffet. It can go on a, um, a kitchen cabinet. It can go on uh, a shelf. Uh, it, it can go on a shelf. It I is mean, tall, but I and mean, keep I that in mind. On the wall. Uh, that's right. Amanda made. Uh, actually put this all together, put a hanger on the very back of it, and put the whole thing up on the wall. Uh, so it's uh, it's like a picture up on her wall. Um, but use your imagination here uh, with the ideas that you do that you use to uh, uh, do that. Uh, I want to show you also that we have oh, a little bitty mini. Those of you that have not seen it. This is our small screen door and its facade. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty much the same ideas. It's a base, it's walls, uh, a little screen door. It does have a roof. The roof is a little different, but it's it's got siding on it. And uh, Lindy and Moyle even put a little mailbox here. They got a bird up on top. We've they got, got special little dollhouse uh, lights on the outside. Yeah, yeah I don't know work. if you can see those lights are on. Can you? I don't. It's hard know. to tell on there. I, I'll pro let me see this. Turn the lights out for a minute. There you go. Can you see that? Cute, cute. I love them so much. Yeah, they are. They're they're pretty cool. Oh, that would be Teresa. Yes. So. Um, just kind of in closing here, uh, <laughs> thank you first of all for everybody joining us here. Remember, you can always go back to YouTube, look up Tater Buggin. You can find this video. Um, I have um, instructions that kind of go with it that uh, when I that I send out with the kits. But the best thing to do is just, like I said, sit down and watch the video. Even if you have to watch it a couple times to see how it goes together, it all goes. They all go together very simply. And I think you'll really love them. I really do. Oh, Our, Janet asked how much the smaller one is. I forgot. It's in the shop, Janet. I can't remember right off hand. I, I, Thank I'm, you, Lisa. I'm sorry. I, I don't remember what uh, exactly While what While he's were. looking that up, I will tell you. I, I mean, said I was going to make a little announcement if you made it this far. Um, in the shop now is our latest uh, class paint party, well I called it a paint party, the rooster paint party is available as of just before this uh, we went live and so look at, you can look that up in the art classes. I'll probably, um, Janet said she's going to go look it up anyway so you don't have to do it. Um, so I'll probably post about that tonight. Hey Lynn! And uh, I just wanted to let y'all know first that the the paint the newest paint party is in the shop. So, hey Tony. All right. So our little screen door with the facade, including the the door itself, the door kit itself so is forty four dollars. Everything. Right. So that's uh, all of the facade with the little screen door again with all the hardware that you'd need and. For those of you that have not seen them before, if you look, let me hold this up here. Um, can you see the little crossbars that go in there? There are large uh, crossbars like that that go uh, with the big door. Oh, and that's like that's one. all in the kit. I know those are very hard to see because hey, they're, Gala. they're black. If you want to move that over again, we've had a lot of people come in just recently. This is what he was showing how to assemble today. <laughs> That is what we're trying to, that's the kit we're trying to show you, and I'm trying to get you, as I said, the small one is $44. The large mm -hmm. one, the entire kit with a screen door, uh, all the hardware that goes with it, uh, understand that all of these little trinkets don't come with it, but it's, the wood kit is $98. That includes shipping on both now, by the way. 
a uh, small one for $48, and that includes shipping, the large one for $98, and that includes shipping. And if you already have the doors that you've already ordered, you can just order the facade kits by themselves. We, That's we, in there too. Yes, we've sold a ton of the little door kits, uh, and then we came out with the facades. Um, so uh, you can order the kit with or without. And uh, let's see. Thank you, Gayla and Lori Ray. I'm sorry. Let me make sure I get this straight. The small <laughs> screen door with the screen door and the facade kit is $60. The facade alone is $44. The large screen door uh, with the facade is the $98. The uh, um, Without the... Without the door, let's see. Uh, okay. Um, the large facade kit without a door is sixty dollars. Okay, and, Penny. Now, uh, the best thing to do for hey, those Penny. of you that are interested, please go to our shop. Our shop is Tater Buggin myshopify.com there are several options there and the reason I'm asking you to do that is because you can buy these kits with or without the doors you can buy them with or without the siding and there's That's different true. prices for those yeah. so um, take a look at it you, you uh, pick out what you want if you want a full kit uh, the $98 gets you the, the large one like we were showing here uh, with the door and everything uh, all the siding and all. I forgot we had the option without siding because if you wanted to paint brick on the flat front, you could right. absolutely do that or put faux brick or something. And that's the reason we have offered that without the siding so that, uh, again, you could use your imagination to, to uh, duplicate your house, uh, whether it has siding or brick or uh, whatever it has. Let your imagination go wild. These are so much fun to change up with the seasons. Of course, once you have the whole kit, you know, you change it up for every season, change out the little wreath, the decor, and Judy, thank you. And thank you, Teresa, for sharing that link. I know at uh, Christmas time, this past Christmas, Lindy had uh, Christmas oh. lights on the big one with uh, uh, a Christmas tree, and uh, she had it all dressed up. It, yeah, it, it, and Moidle helps me with that. Pretty little... Christmas wreath on the door and again uh, the cool thing is that you can uh, every season you could change this up okay I've got to tell you what Sharon said to yes me. she said and he smooths the wood out perfectly I haven't bought this kit but I have others and it's five plus quality oh that right. is so sweet of you Sharon thank, thank you, you Sharon that brings me to, to something I just thought of Lori Hanby reminded me today uh, she didn't know that you can actually leave us reviews on our page. So if any of you have purchased from us or you feel led to, we would love for you to give us a review. That would be I mean, great. good, bad, or you know, whatever. We want to hear how you feel about our product. So that would be wonderful. We would appreciate it. I, uh, I do build these myself, and I build every kit individually. So when you get a kit, it is all pre-measured and, and preset to that kit, so other parts won't interchange. Carrie says, Mr. T has the best quality ever. Ah, That's well, so thank y'all very thank much. You. Thank you very much. Y'all have always been so kind. Uh, so anyway, we're going to jump off here and uh, let everybody go enjoy their supper and their kids and, and family. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, go to our page and shoot us a, a message. We'll be glad to answer that. Sure. All right. Thank you, and go to our shop. Look at what we got. Thank you very much. We love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow at 4 Central. Bye.